Welcome everyone. Today we will see how we can install an SSM agent and access the EC2 instances without using the SSH keys. This particular scenario might be very useful when you have to give the server access to someone else but don't want to share the SSH key. Also, if you are using SSM agent, you don't even have to uh, continuously use your SSH key. This is in terms of uh, security is much more secure. So before we start with the SSM agent installation and like how to use it, we'll just see what SSM agent is and how what it can offer us. So it is basically a systems manager agent. It gives us like an operational insights and it says as the console says take action on AWS resources. So basically it gives a various option to manage our uh, EC2 instances in particular, uh, which are on, on cloud and which are on premise as well. So uh, what you can do if you just want to access your EC2 instance like the way you do with the SSH key via using SSH, uh, you can do it with the AWS uh, SSM agent. You can also do a run command where on a set of EC2 instances, you can run a set of commands simultaneously. You can do a maintenance window, you can do a patch management, you can update your application and you, do, you can do all sort of things. So that's what the ssm agent is so let's start we'll just start with the creating new instances so we understand all the parts so i can select amazon linux too but i won't be selecting it because uh, it already has a ssm agent installed so for the sake of this demo i'll be selecting ubuntu server 20 and instead of selecting with the normal x86 architecture i'll be selecting the arm based architecture and the reason for which is that it gives me an access to t4g type of instances so what is t4g type of instances these are aws's in-house instance type basically named as a graviton these are much more better in terms of performance and are much more cheaper in terms of the traditional intel based instances so it's a great idea to use those in your workloads okay we'll just select the t4g medium we'll go so now uh, AWS gives us, an, uh, so we can uh, configure the IAM role here. If I see, I don't have any IAM roles at the moment. So I'll just create because SSM agent will need some sort of access to log into the uh, EC2 instance, right? So we'll just create a new role. This is a service role and it will be used for EC2. So I'll be selecting EC2. Then when I go into the permissions, I'll select SSM and i get the so amazon ssm full access this is the role that we want to attach to our ec2 we'll go to tax it's an optional so we'll skip it we'll give them we'll give it a name as ec2 ssm role and we'll create the role okay so role is created now we'll go to our uh, ec2 dashboard we'll refresh it select the role so right now when our instance will start it will already have all sort of permissions to connect using SSM agent. We'll scroll down in the user data field. We'll just paste the user data script. You can find this script or anywhere like a simple Google search on internet or I'll also have it in the description as well. So what basically this does is it creates a new directory, changes that uh, changes into that directory. It's download the SSM agent file then. Okay. Okay, downloads the agent file and then install the agent and then enable agent. Just for our confirmation, I'll also add a new command which says restart. So we'll make sure that agent is up and running. So now the SSM, uh, sorry, user data script is there. I'll just add a storage. 8 GB is way more for me for the demo. I can have a name tags, but let's keep it. I can go with the existing security group. All things looks good. We'll just launch. We'll just select uh, existing key pair. This is SSM demo. We'll launch the instance. So what is supposed to happen now is that our instance already have all sorts of uh, commands which needs to be, uh, which will be used for installing the SSM agent in the user data so while starting it will use those commands and it already has the access via iam role that we have attached so now the instance is started we'll just test if ssm agent is there we'll go into connect we'll go into system manager if you see there is no error here so if you're like you are uh, 
not sure about the configs or you don't attach a proper permission you will see an error here so you can just uh, troubleshoot it with following the like services so the error mostly will be about the im permission so make sure you attach a role with the proper permissions when i go ahead and hit connect so now i'll be getting in a terminal via ssm agent there you go sudo hyphen i sorry okay so we are into the instance one more thing i'll uh, like to mention here is in the same instance in the same instance if i go ahead and connect i have a multiple options so if i go into ec2 instance connect i can still hit connect and i can get the same window as ssm agent but the problem with this is uh, SSM agent can log all of the commands that I'm executing on the instance, which is very helpful for compliance purposes. And you can also attach AWS config to uh, set some rules on what and what not to be done inside this instance. Also, this is only accessible that in EC2 instance connect is only accessible for the instances which has a public IP with it. So right now this particular instance is in public a subnet that's why it is accessible if I have the same instance inside a private subnet this won't work but SSM agent will work even for your private subnets so that's are the some of the main um, key features of SSM agent I hope you like the video you understand it if you have any questions do let me know thank you have a good day